Gut wrenching testimony on Capitol Hill as a mother from Michigan shared a very personal story with House lawmakers about her two sons' fentanyl overdose deaths. Rebecca Kiesling speaking at Tuesday's House Homeland Security Committee hearing on the human cost of the humanitarian crisis happening at our border. My children were taken away from me. A <laughs> hundred thousand Americans every year are having their children, 200,000 because it's both parents, right? Are having their children taken away from them. Mm -hmm. Kiesling's sons uh, dying two years ago after taking what she describes as fake Percocet laced with the deadly drug fentanyl. Uh, robbed of their lives, her son Caleb, just 20 years old, her son Kyler was just 18. And Rebecca is joining me live right now. I know that um, this is not easy to talk about, so I wanna thank you for being brave enough to speak about it uh, with me. But when people say, you know, how do you feel knowing that fentanyl is coming into this country at record numbers? Yeah. I, I can remember just a few short years ago, we didn't really see fentanyl. We hadn't heard of fentanyl. And now it's rampant. How do you feel about it? I mean, I would think that just one death from fentanyl coming across our southern border would be enough to sound the alarm. Um, but since my sons have died, according to the CDC, from 2020 to 2021, fentanyl deaths have been increased by 22%. I mean, the numbers are going up instead of down. They're having the biggest drug bust they've ever had for fentanyl, and yet the numbers uh, overdosing and dying are, are still going up. When you talk about your sons, you don't say they overdosed, you actually say they were murdered. So explain your logic behind that, because I'm sure there are a lot of people watching and no judgment, but they will say, well, your sons made the decision to take those lethal drugs or those dangerous drugs. So what would you tell them? Well, first of all, my sons didn't know that they were lethal. Um, they wanted to be free. They didn't want to be doing any kind of drugs, but they thought that what they were getting w was safe. They thought pills were safe. Um, you know, people don't die from taking Xanax um, or, you know, Percocets, like unless you, you know, it'd be really hard to overdose from actual Percocets. Right. The problem is that fentanyl, they're, they're murder pills. They weren't laced with fentanyl, the, the Percocets they got, the fake Percocets. They were all fentanyl. My oh, wow. son, Kyler, had five times the amount enough to kill. Oh, my gosh. I want to play this soundbite from Congressman Mark Green. He uh, spoke to our Leland Vittert about your testimony. Let's listen. A hundred thousand Americans every year are having their children, 200,000, because it's both parents, right, are having their children taken away from them. Hard, hard to watch hard to listen to. You need yeah, to hear it, though. We need, to, we need to. It's more than just the human costs, although those uh, tend to be the ones we want to talk about most and should talk about most. But there's also a financial cost. And, and I think every American is at risk. And we tried to make that point today in the committee. You know, when I think about this war, I remember being a kid and it was all about dare uh, and stopping the war on drugs. And now it just seems as though we are in a different kind of epidemic. Uh, when it comes to some of the things that are crossing our southern border. Do you yeah. want to see military force? Do you want to see America treat the cartels like we do any other terrorist group or any other enemy to this nation? Yeah, what I said yesterday is that if we had Chinese troops amassing along our southern border uh, with weapons of mass destruction aimed at our cities, they would do something. You know, they, people were freaking out about a weather balloon. No one was dying, but, oh, it's a Chinese weather balloon. We need to do something. And there are people who have said things against social media that, oh, you know, she raised her children to do drugs. Like, are you freaking kidding me? I went in support groups with so many good people, parents who raised their kids right, just like I did. And... They're getting a hold of drugs. Yeah. Our generation, people experimented. I wasn't one of them, but I had friends who did, and they survived. People weren't dying because everything wasn't, you know, I, I don't even like the word laced because now it's just all fentanyl. Yeah. But it wasn't, you know, laced with fentanyl. Yeah, it's a different time. And uh, kids who experimented 20, 30 years ago, uh, it's, it's just a whole new ballpark. Uh, Rebecca Kiesling, it's not the time to point fingers at moms and dads and say, you know, oh, you raised your kids wrong. It's the time to say, what are we going to do as a community? Because it's affecting everybody. Thank you very much for being with us.
Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.